Hey what's up everybody this is Dom and today we are getting into part 2 of the top jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 7. We're going to take a look at 5 more tweaks and trust me the list keeps on growing with compatibility so let's start out by taking a look at a couple of tweaks that enhance control center and the first one here is flip control center. Now keep in mind this tweak is a beta version and it's available in Ryan Petrick's beta repo so I'll leave the link for that down below in the description but it's pretty cool like I said it'll allow you to customize control center a little more and we will go ahead and jump right into that right now. So as you can see here in control center we have the standard toggles right here up at the top but we can page through additional toggles by swiping to the left or to the right. Now if you go into the settings app here and scroll down to the bottom you'll actually see some controls for flip control center. Now at the top we have activate switches and this will allow us to rearrange or disable certain toggles in control center. So as you can see we can just drag them with the bars on the side and we can rearrange them and enable them or disable them and as you can see the changes take effect immediately. We also do have the ability to suppress certain toggles from the lock screen. So if your phone is locked, these toggles that you check in here will not show up in control center on the lock screen. And finally, we have the ability to set these switches per page. And as you can see here, as I go through these different numbers here, it will change the layout of the toggles in control center. But personally, my favorite is the unpage, which allows you to freely swipe between all of the toggles. So this is flip control center. It's a pretty simple tweak. And like I said, it allows you to enhance control center. So so go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think. Next up we are taking a look at Flip Launch developed by Jack Willis. This is a pretty cool tweak that will allow you to create toggles to launch different apps. Now this works extremely well with Flip Control Center and I'm going to show you how that works here in a second. So if we back out and go into the settings app here and go down to Flip Launch, we have the ability to select different apps that we want toggles listed for. Now like I said this works very well with Flip Control Center and it will also work with any flip switch enabled tweak but if we go into flip control center here and go to active switches as you can see now at the bottom I have a little toggle here for tweetbot so I can pull that up to the top and launch control center and we see the little toggle right there we can tap on it to quickly launch tweetbot from wherever we're at so you can select any app you'd like in the preferences and create a toggle for it that will work with any flip switch enabled tweak but like I said this works extremely well with flip control center now flip launch is available in the big boss repo for free the next tweak we are checking out is an oldie but a goodie. This is Zeppelin and it will allow you to customize the carrier logo on your device. So if we back out to the home screen and go into the settings app, we will find specific settings here for Zeppelin. And like I mentioned, we can enable the tweak and then instantly our carrier logo will be changed. So there are a wide variety of icons or themes to choose from and you can download more via Cydia, but here's just a quick look at some of the ones that are available with the default instant. Installation. Zeppelin won't add a lot of functionality to your device, but it will add a custom look to your status bar. And it is available for free in the Mod My Eye repo. So go ahead and check out Zeppelin and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Coming up next, we are taking a look at Dock Shift, and this will allow you to customize the dock in iOS 7. So if you're tired of the plain, boring look down here at the bottom, this will add a few options of customization, and you can find those in the Settings app here. So we have the ability to enable the tweak, and we can also choose Styles down here, and when you enable it, the changes take effect immediately, so we can go into the Style, and just go ahead and select one like this Dark Milk Glass right here, and as you can see, we have a darker dock at the bottom. So it's a very simple tweak. There aren't very many styles available, but it will add a custom look to your dock if you're tired of that boring look that iOS 7 comes with out of the box. So go ahead and check this out. This tweak is available for free in the Big Boss repo, so definitely can't go wrong with free. Check it out and let me know what you think. The last tweak we are taking a look at is NC All Only, and this is available in the Big Boss repo for free, so go ahead and check it out. It will allow you to remove the Today and Missed tabs in the iOS 7 Notification Center. So as you can see here when we pull this down, we have three tabs here, and we can swipe between the three of them or tap on the tabs at the top to change them, but I personally don't find a use for the Today tab or the Missed tab. I just think it's kind of pointless for me anyway, and that may be different for you, but luckily this tweak allows us to enable or disable them individually. So we have show missed view and we have show today view here at the bottom and we can flip those switches to quickly and instantly disable those tabs. So as you can see here I only have two now 
And if I remove that one as well, then we just have the singular notification tab as we had on iOS 6. So if you're a fan of that, then you definitely want to check out this tweak. But like I said, it's very helpful. It'll allow you to customize the look of Notification Center and get it just how you want it as far as the tabs go anyway. So let me know what you think about NC All Only down in the comment section below. Or if you have any requests for future Cydia Tweak videos, please let me know as well. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at some of the top tweaks that are available now that are compatible with iOS 7. Trust me, there will be tons more coming out in the future. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe for more iOS 7 jailbreak content. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.